Hi, my name is Adam Hart. I'm also known as Keats. I'm a designer producer at Iron Galaxy Studios, and we're here today to show you a little little ditty called Dive Kick. Uh, this is, um, I guess people are describing it as late night joke turned into serious business. Uh, it's a game about diving and kicking. It's a two button fighting game. And when I say two buttons, I mean two buttons. No joystick at all, no traditional ground movement. You're gonna have to find a way to outsmart your opponent with an extremely limited set of options, which as it turns out is incredibly intense. So last time you guys saw the game, we were at EVO and we were showing off our prototype build of the game that we had showed at UFGT and CEO. And that, that version of the game was very, very limited in terms of, of how much graphics we could put into it. Each character only had one frame of animation per state, so one for jumping, one for kicking, one for getting killed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now we have about 100 frames of animation per character. They have idle animations, win-loss animations, an entire jumping cycle, uh, and a variety of other things that we'll show you as we progress. Oh! <laughs> it's very, very cool. We're adding more every day, we're adding more characters, we're adding detail to the backgrounds, which will soon have animation and layers of their own. And uh, we're really happy to show it to you guys, it feels great. Round five, die kick! Yeah, we, we had a great reception to this game everywhere we showed it last year, even with the prototype version. But here at PAX, it's just kind of snowballing out of control. The enforcers are really upset because we can't keep our players out of the aisle. Uh, our players are getting really noisy and rowdy. People are hovering around the side of the booth just to watch the action. And people are really feeling like they're in on the joke. And when we finally convince them to, to come in and try it, you know, hey, the lines look long, but the matches are quick. You'll be at the front of the line in six minutes. Everyone comes away laughing and smiling and wanting to play again. Yeah, when we decided to partner with Iron Galaxy Studios, one of the biggest selling points for me to, to take the risk and be with them was that they are their studio is full of fighting game fans. They worked on Third Strike Online, Marvel's Capcom Origins, and Darkstalkers Resurrection. A lot of the people there, including the CEO Dave Lang, they're in on the fighting game community jokes already. You know, they they already giggle when I say 895. Um, so it wasn't a hard sell. The fact that I wasn't going to have to sacrifice any of the flavor and and the personality of the game but I could just make it cleaner and prettier with more features and on more platforms. That was, it was a no-brainer. And working with Iron Galaxy Studios has been an absolute pleasure. It's just wonderful. So right now we're seeing Mr. N. He's a horrible person. He beats his dog and he rigs the brackets. Ouch. And he's fighting against Redacted. Redacted is an oversized skunk bear. She is a mother of three. The females of the species are much more violent. It's much, much more violent. Yes, it's about full. So when I top off the meter, what happens is I enter kick factor, and I go much, much faster, and I can get up above you much easier. But there's some other uses for meter that I'll show you right now. If you get hit in the head, you'll be headshot, you'll lose all your meter, and you'll be dizzy for five seconds or four seconds the next round, which is a good chance for me to kind of take you out. But I gotta be cautious, because you can still kill me. But if I fill up my meter enough, I can do a special technique now. This is new to the build. Watch this. Mr. Ed can run away, and he can also hover. Now let's show you what Redacted can do. Next round, just uh, build a tiny bit of meter by pressing kick a couple times. All right, now press both of them together and hold them. You can duck. You're the only character in the game that can duck. Now if you want to back up against the edge of the screen, jump or uh, kick once more to get a meter, move to the edge of the screen again, jump into the air and press both buttons. Ooh, wall jump. Yeah, so every character has two unique techniques. One on the ground, one in the air. They have varying costs, but they add a lot of flavor to the game. In the original, we had a lot of complaints that people thought Dive and Kick were the same character, but they were very, very different. Now it's even more obvious that they're different because they don't even share techniques. Which is very cool. Oh! <laughs> We're adding more characters, we're giving the backgrounds depth using parallax, and we're adding animation to the backgrounds. We're working on uh, sprucing up a lot of the visual effects, and uh, we're also adding GGPO powered online play. You'll be able to do ranked matches and player matches. The other cool thing we're adding is a single player story mode. It kind of pays tribute to the story modes of old. It's like an arcade ladder, pick your character, beat a bunch of characters, beat the final boss. 
and you get some story about the character on the way through so you can learn who they are, why they're doing what they're doing, and it's mostly just an avenue for me to tell jokes. <laughs> so it should be pretty fun. Um, we expect to release in summer, and we're coming out on PS3 and Vita via PlayStation Network, and we're also going to be out on PC, but we're not sure how we're releasing on PC yet. We do want to get on Steam. We have a Steam green light up right now, and we can really use your help upvoting it. Even if you don't want to buy it on Steam, or you don't want to buy it at all, help your fellow gamers out. Vote yes. Thanks. Buy my product. Ha, ha, ha.